Sometimes in the morning, I have to force myself to remember everything that happened. Dear Bruce, I need to be honest and clear. I'm going to marry Harvey Dent. I love him, and I want to spend the rest of my life with him. When I told you that if Gotham no longer needed Batman, we could be together, I meant it. But now I'm sure the day won't come when you no longer need Batman. And if it does, I will be there. But as your friend, I'm sorry to let you down. If you lose your faith in me, please keep your faith in people. Love now and always. Rachel. One time in my life I felt that. What was my purpose? And sometimes you graduate out of high school, you look for that job, you look for that career, college, a degree, you still question, is this my purpose? I want to talk to you about the center, your center. Your purpose. One question that I always ask myself, even if I would always ask myself, is your purpose. What's your purpose for living? Do you know your purpose? What you're created to do? Do you know what that is? A lot of people live their entire lives not knowing entire lifetime not being happy because they feel as though they're not fulfilling their purpose one piece of advice that I can give to you to find your purpose is to spend time with yourself spend time away from distractions away from People who distract you, who take your time away from you. Now, when you talk about taking time away from you, I'm talking about taking time away from the things that you may enjoy. You may used to write, you don't do it anymore. You may used to sing, you don't do it anymore. You may used to read books, you don't do it anymore. You may, whatever your hobby is, you know. Try to get that back into your life, especially for men, because life is very, very challenging for a man. They expect us to be leaders. When I say they, I'm talking about God created a man for to be a leader, to be a fighter, to set examples uh, in his home, in his house for his wife, for his kids, for other men around him that look up to him. And how can you do that if you don't know what your true purpose is or if you're not happy with yourself and your position and where you're at?
that's one part of your purpose because you have this gift that you're not exercising that you used to exercise and you decided not to do that that's one way of getting back into the groove of who you are what you're created to do second thing is the more time you spend alone with yourself the more time that you will be able to understand who you are. When I mean understand who you are, I'm talking about without any outside interference, without any friends, without any uh, peer pressure of wanting to be like someone else. The more time you spend alone, you're going to figure out, okay, what your purpose is. And I say that because of this. God will talk to you. You start seeking in those moments of not having any outside distractions. What happens is things become clear. Clarity sets in. And you're able to make decisions not based on what you saw that day or what you heard that day or what that person may have said to you. You're able to make decisions based on how you feel internally. Okay? So number one, we have time alone. Number two, spending time alone will clear your subconscious mind up so you can make your own decisions based on how you feel, okay? So that's number two. Third thing is uh, going without, okay? I want to say going without. That means uh, there's times where you can go without your friends, you can go without going out, you can go without... uh, uh, other people around you, okay? Going without eating, going without this, going without that. There's a thing in the Bible that says, you know, when you fast, you fast for a purpose. You fast because things become clear in your life. And this is so true. Whenever I go on a diet for bodybuilding uh, 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 and start eating strict, I start seeing things a lot clearer. I start, uh, my decisions are clear I can hear things a lot clearer in my life directions and certain things that God wants me to do it becomes clear to me you were born special you were born with a gift you were born with being able to bring your own unique abilities and gifts to this world and you have so much more to offer So guys, I just encourage you to find it, trust and believe in yourself, and uh, never quit and never give up. And at the end of the day, know that there's something greater. God has a greater purpose for your life than you just going through the motions, all right? So God bless you guys. I love you. This is Kevin Laverne, and I look forward to seeing you again. God bless you, and good night. Peace.
There comes a fucking day where push comes to shove. Where being mediocre, being like average and shit just fucking burns and sucks so much. You can't deal it one more day and you get off your fucking ass and you create something that's always been there. It's always been inside of you trying to come out. But you've never wanted to unwrap it because it's too much fucking pain and commitment. You were scared you were gonna fail. You were scared if you started, you never finish it. You didn't want to tell anyone about it. You knew it was there, but you never wanted to embark on it. Until something fucking hits. You get fired or somebody else gets success. Remind you what you could have been. And no matter what happens, I'm never going to be in this boat again. And you get up and you go, even if it's not you just keep going, keep going. You're a wild man. And life has never been so sweet. That can happen at an early age. It can happen at a later age. It's going to happen to somebody. Every, you know, No matter what's going to happen to you. And when it does happen to you, think what these stars that finally you're alive. It's time to unwrap the potential you can be. Superior, man. It's within you. It's within every single one of us. And the people that have, that have, have risen to that level were no different than any one of us. It's just they believed it and they're willing to work their fucking ass off to get it. It wasn't about the potential. It wasn't about the genetics. It wasn't about the perseverance. And it wasn't about being the hardest fucking worker in the room. That's what got him there, and it didn't happen overnight. They got knocked down more than they ever stood up. But they kept going, they kept going, they kept going, they kept going.